After a wild horse became trapped in deep and dangerous mud, it appeared that its life was in jeopardy. Fortunately, a man's compassion and resourcefulness allowed the creature to survive. However, what the horse did to express its gratitude is truly astonishing and hard to believe. Daryl Glover had a passion for working with his hands and relished being in close proximity to nature. Despite working in a factory during the day, he found solace in spending his leisure time tending to his yard or exploring the nearby forests and plains. Feeling a strong connection to the earth and the natural world, he would often spend countless hours outdoors engaging in a variety of activities such as carving, crafting, nurturing his plants and crops, and even conversing with the magnificent wild horses that occasionally traversed his property. One day, Daryl decided that he needed some new garden furniture instead of heading to the store to buy something pre-made he wanted to make his own. There was, after all, something immensely rewarding about creating something for yourself. But first he would need wood, so he grabbed a saw a few cutters and ropes and threw them into the back of his truck before heading out to the forest. He would try to find an old fallen tree to work with. Failing that he would have to cut one down though Daryl by far preferred the idea of not damaging a healthy and living tree if he could help it. Parking up on the outskirts of the trees, Daryl jumped out of his truck and set off towards the trees. There were tens of thousands of trees to choose from, maybe hundreds of thousands so he knew that he would be spoiled for choice. But as he reached the first tree and looked upwards, studying the canopy above, he heard a strange and unexpected distant noise. It sounded like a horse, but not the kind he had ever heard before. This one sounded distressed in pain and worry while he would normally have shrugged the noise off. There was something about it that tugged at Daryl's hot strings immediately forgetting about his hunt for the perfect tree to build his garden furniture with. He set off in search of the strange and unusual sound. Little did he know what kind of heartbreaking sight he would soon come across. A short way away from where Daryl had parked his truck was a large, boggy section of land. The ground had become wet and saturated through terrain and groundwater, and dirt had transformed into a thick and gloopy mud. It sat in large, deep pools, and unsuspecting passers-by often found themselves snapping directly into the bog of mud, having to strain to pull themselves back out again. For a human, it was an annoyance, but for an animal, it could spell disaster. A large wild horse had been cantering past the outskirts of the forest when he found that he had run straight into one of these bogs. At first, he tried to simply step out, but it soon became evident that the horse was sinking under his own body weight. As he sank lower and mud crept up his body, the horse started to panic and struggled to free himself. But of course, he just sunk deeper his front legs remained on the shore, but the issue was that his powerful hind legs were being held tightly by the man. Since the majority of a horse's power comes from those mighty hind legs, he could only flail uselessly for hours the horse fought to pull himself from the bog, and at times it even looked like he would manage, but eventually he would only slip back down into the mud again. Unfortunately, the beautiful wild horse was becoming tired. With very few people being in the area and night only a few hours away, it seemed as if the horse would be stuck there forever, dying slowly from starvation and exhaustion. The horse laid still breathing heavily for long stretches. It was all he could do to ply cry and call out, hoping for assistance. His sad neigh rang out through the forest, but with no one around. But the trees to hear it seemed as if he would never be free. Every now and then he would make a large token effort to try to free himself. But he had neither strength nor energy left in him. But suddenly around the edge of the forest walked a concerned looking man. It was Daryl. He saw the horse in the distance and hurried over assessing the situation. He didn't want to see the beautiful animal die, so he ran back to his truck and grabbed a rope hoping to lasso the horse and pull him free. But of course, horses weigh many times more than an average man and no matter how hard Daryl pulled and struggled, the horse didn't budge an inch. Thinking fast, Daryl fed the horse a few scraps of food he had in his truck as well as some nearby grass before quickly driving off towards town. If the horse was to get free, it would take more than just one man. After 45 minutes, the truck came roaring back towards the forest. This time with many members of Daryl's family inside. 
hopefully more hands and more strong people would make the rescue a little easier. On the back of the truck were two off-road vehicles, perhaps these would help pull the horse from their deep muddy bog. Soon enough, they had located the still trapped animal and formed a plan. They would loop straps around his front legs and pull with the off-road vehicles. Hopefully this would be enough to budge the horse, but there were no guarantee. No one was sure if the rescue mission would even work, but the small crew soon got down to business looping straps around the horse, who sadly and calmly watched on. The horse didn't have enough energy to struggle, and it seemed as if he understood the men were there to help. The off-road vehicles began to pull softly at first and then harder. If the horse showed that he was in any kind of pain, they were ready to stop, but the horse showed no sign of discomfort, seemingly more concerned about getting free than anything else. It took several tries, but soon the horse started to shift. Daryl saw this as a positive sign, but realized they still had a long way to go yet, so he hopped off of his vehicle and the strap this time around the horse's rear he ensured it was secure and wouldn't slip off before climbing back on the vehicle and starting to pull and miraculously inch by inch, the horse started to rise up from the bog. Seemingly aware he was starting to become free, he resumed his own efforts to get out, kicking his legs and pushing with all of his might when all of a sudden he slipped free. The horse finally stood proud, dripping with mud. Daryl and his team removed the straps from the horse and scooped some of the cold, wet, heavy mud from his body. They were congratulating themselves on a job well done when the newly reborn horse did something truly beautiful and unexpected. The horse turned and slowly approached Daryl. He lowered his huge head, looked him in his eye, and bowed as if to thank the man for his kindness. Daryl didn't know what to do or say. He simply reached out and stroked the mighty animal's nose. It was as if man and animal had connected, and the two shared a beautiful and unspoken moment. Daryl even found himself on the edge of crying, and he felt a tight, proud feeling in his chest as he lowered his hand. The horse reared up on his hind legs and let out a mighty neigh before turning towards the wide open grassy plains and galloping away undoubtedly towards his worried family. As Daryl addressed the small team, he commended them on a job well executed. However, tears streamed down his face as he acknowledged that the wild horse would have perished if it weren't for his intervention. Though the animal was unable to express its gratitude or reciprocate his kindness, Daryl comprehended the significance of his actions. By saving the majestic creature from certain death, he enabled it to continue its life, nurture its offspring, and bring happiness and beauty to the world. Daryl couldn't have been more proud of his actions. The floor is yours now. What is your reaction to this truly touching account? Would you have endeavored to assist the distressed wild horse if you were in the same situation? Additionally, how would you have responded if the horse had shown its gratitude in the remarkable manner described? As always, we value and appreciate your feedback, so please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and viewpoints in the comments section below. I hope you liked this video. Please give us thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Also, press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.